This is an invitation to join Luxbet Club Extra exclusively to owners and trainers. Join Luxbet today using promo code and receive a match deposit of 150% up to $1,500. Luxbet are odds, Luxbet are up with Luxbet. Well, seeing as we spoke to Steve O'Day last week and we got a brilliant winner in Colossimo, we thought we'd back it up again this week. And Stevie, well done with Colossimo. Does that get her into the millions, do you think? Yeah, look, I, I'd feel pretty confident that she's going to scrape into the millions field with that prize money. So she's got about 50000 now. Yep. Um, you know, obviously with the win in town and also the win down the Gold Coast. So, you know, you can never tell with these babies. There's still a month to go now to, for horses to be able to qualify. But... You know, you'd expect probably in the meantime some horses may go amiss and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's one thing with babies that you can't sort of plan too far ahead sometimes. You know, no. they can you can sort of How have them one day up? and go on the next. Look, she pulled out really well, uh, ate up uh, well since her run. Okay. Uh, just took her back out to the farm, out to Aquas, just to change up her routine a little bit, you know. So nice. just going to give her a sort of 10 days out there. Um, just a mental freshen up more than anything. She'll remain in work and, um, yeah, we'll just sort of make a decision whether she runs in the... Um, the race on New Year's Eve, um, two weeks before the millions, or we go just go straight in the millions. Wow, isn't it great that you've got that option to get get out of the city and let her chill out in the country, even though you're keeping her in work? Yeah, definitely. Look, she she, she can be a little bit of a moody filly too. Mm. You know, she's been like that all the way through. Uh, just try to sort of take my time to get her to the races to not not sort of screw her down too quick. Yeah. Um, you know, I think she would have taken it the wrong way if she did. So, um, yeah, no, she's um. You know, I think she'll really relish a little bit of a break. So. Yeah, she can get a little bit hot. Is she a possibility of being a blinker filly, do you think? Look, I think so. I, I, I spoke about that um, post-race the other day. Mm. Um, look, she travelled nice in the run, um, probably a little bit keen, mm. sort of the first furlong, furlong and a half, but then relaxed really well uh, once she found cover. So, you know, both times she sort of hit the front in the races, she's, she's tended to, to sort yeah. of idle a little bit and, and probably switch off a touch and, and prick her ears. So... You know, probably so say what now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look, you know, even there the other day, you know, it was only a moderate sort of speed, and you know, she bounced well and sort of put herself in the box seat. She's probably going to be a filly, you know, in a race with better tempo, where she can be a couple of pairs further back, and yeah. sort of she's got a bit more to chase, you know. Mm. Okay, let's have a chat about your two runners this weekend at Doomben. First of all, we're going to talk about Dream Kisses, who. She ran 50 the other day off a short break. What yep. did you think of the run? No, look, I was happy enough with the run the other day. Um, obviously, that was a day that the track played, um, very, you know, very leaderish yep. all day. Um, I think there was only one race where the winner come from back and, and they sort of went berserk in front of that race, you know. So mm. um, she probably got shuffled back a little bit further than than anticipated the other day um, just because she was going to be posted. You know, I, I think I find um, since we've been back here racing at Eagle Farm, no one's in any real rush to sort of get across to the fence, you know. Mm. So when you draw those awkward gates, you know, the fields tend to be bunching up a lot and, it, and it's pretty hard to just um, slot into a nice spot yeah. in some of those races. So, you know, I thought under the circumstances, they run home in, in quick time, like 33.6. Um, yeah. So for her to make up a, a couple of lengths up the run, I thought I That's thought her good. run was sound, yeah. She'd be in the millions. She'd have well and truly enough money, wouldn't she, to be in the millions? Yeah. Does she have... Um another run after this or would this be it with her look i probably had planned to only give her the four runs like obviously saturday will be her fourth run she had two early on in october had a little break um yep. obviously run last start and um we'll run this saturday so you know we've got the luxury of just seeing how she comes yep. through the run and how she pulls up whether she has another one again she's a big gross she's filly big, yeah. yeah she's a really strong filly she does well at home like she, you know, she's. I don't think she's ever left a note in her life. You know, so. Um, <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and mentally she's handling it all well too. Yeah. So, you know, as I said, we've got that luxury of, of um, you know, not probably having to chase prize money too much. Mm. Um, and um, yeah. yeah, we can just do what's right for her to have a right on on the big day. And of day. course, you've always got the option too to give a jump out at home as well. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. Oh, we can jump yeah. out at the farm or, or here in town. So um, that'd be the thing if we didn't run her again after Saturday. She'd be a month in between so she would have to have um, a jump out or mm. trial. So. Okay, let's talk about uh, Doubt Defying. He's going to go, go around in the Class 3 plate. What did you make of his first up seventh? Look, I was happy with his run first up. Um, he did get a long way out of his ground. Um, again, that was the day that, that the tracks were playing uh, very leaderish. Um, winning Rupert was obviously very impressive. Mm. Um, you know, he run time comparable to the Open that day, the George Moore, you know. <laughs> so... Um, you know, he was he was just probably a little bit outclassed. And, and look, he's definitely a horse that, that shows 
that he's really going to relish getting out over a little bit further. Um, you know, back in grade a bit on Saturday. Mm. Um, you know, gets in with a nice weight and, um, you know, he's probably drawn just a little bit awkward um, out there in nine. But um, if he can have some luck in the run, um, I think he'll run a much improved race. All right, Stevie, thanks for your time and good luck on the weekend. All right, thanks, Bernie. This is an invitation to join Luxbet Club Extra exclusively to owners and trainers. Join Luxbet today using promo code and receive a match deposit of 150% up to $1,500. Luxbet are odds, Luxbet are up with Luxbet.